popping out for a Chinese has a different meaning when you're talking to Paul Childerly. Joining him on this cold morning is Carly Coates, along with her fiancé and personal cameraman Jason Field Sports Ireland Doyle. Carly hasn't been stalking long, but is making great progress. We followed her on her first outing on the Reds in the Highlands of Scotland. This time, the landscape and the deer are a lot smaller. Smaller in body, smaller in target, which means tighter shooting. So Paul starts with a session on the range to put her on the money. Now what we're going to do is try and group, group you down a bit, okay? So, we'll come off that one, we'll go on this one. This time what we're going to do, we're going to do three shots. You're going to take your time, yeah. you get on there, but if they're all on the edge but together, I'm happy with that. It's basically, pull your grouping in, basically. Yeah. Pull that one. Not on that one. Well, the thing is, it's closer than this, you know, it's closer than the, the start. Yeah. You got, already you're so criticising yourself, but realistically, look at, the, look at the bigger picture. That was the one before, then it was this one, I had one flyer, and then it's about the same as the one before, really. But it's all in the square. I'd let you go stalking. Ah, thanks. But not yet. <laughs> so what we're going to do is... The big square. <laughs> yeah, the, the box, yeah. <laughs> the whole box. We do, uh, we do one on the right. Yeah. And then um, I'll let Jason have three shots of one on the left. Yeah, that sounds like a right idea. <laughs> For a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put different bullets in. Okay. Yes. Don't rush it. Finger down a bit. No, no. It's only a cardboard box. <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Doyle. I'm quite happy with my in there. Ah, I love it. It's great, isn't it? Not being funny. Amazing. Bit of uh, friendly uh, competition. <laughs> Pretty happy with that, isn't you? Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, yeah. perfect. From where she started. And obviously Jason's. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Jason's here. Very good. You got a spare box? What for? Me? Yeah. You're like all like that one, they all be in the <laughs> one old group. <clears throat> right, we've used some simulated targets, shall we? Yeah. We've got on the sticks. Yeah. They hundred percent. You see the one, Jack? Yeah. Happy with that? I'll wind it down a little bit for you, so it's on eight, and we're on the red dot. Just get yourself comfortable. Where, you, where you're comfortable, really, where you're, you're sounds stupid, where you're steady. That's better. That's good. No, it's, <laughs> no, 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 it's. <laughs> it's what he does always shoot. He's like a composure. You're not stood properly. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Rock. Good. Have a dry fire. Have a dry fire again. So basically, load it up, and then go on to that jack. Exactly the same thing. Come up with front leg. Go back into the kill zone. Squeeze the trigger. Don't try too hard. Basically. Right. Hi. Relax and shoot. Perfect. Easy. Easy, eh? Yeah. Right. This time, we're going to do a follow-up shot this time, okay? So, this is for in case you get a wounded animal. Right. 
okay? So you shot it, and I say to you, shoot it again. So as soon as you shoot it anyway, obviously head up, reload the gun, down. And if I say shoot again, it means obviously you've got to shoot it again, yeah. okay, because there's a problem with it. Okay, so there's two shots in there. So load it up. <coughs> we shoot the, the farm one, Jack, the, the ready colour one. So, take your time, do it as normal. Reload, shoot again. Okay, clear, shoot. Good. Two perfect shots. Thank you. Good. The woods, just a few minutes walk from the range, hold Munchak. Not letting this opportunity pass, Paul offers the shot to Carly. However, this little deer is swift and doesn't hang about, even ignoring the all-new work-in-progress secret call Paul is trying out. That's one of the main differences between novice and experienced shots. Confidence to take advantage of an opportunity. Okay. That's it. No, no, not at all. Honestly, don't worry about it. There's no rush. I mean, what we do is we're going through here. I sure we won't joke. It's like they're just always moving and they give you that because they're close as well. Any little sound, especially from the cameraman, normally, generally, it just ruins the whole situation. So. Yeah, and they're always moving, so you have to stop them. Of course, once you stop them, then they know you. Know you're there. Yeah, so it's a the catch-22, really. But also, at the wrong time, well, getting to the time of day that they're just trying to hit cover all the time. Yeah. So not, like, gently walking about. They're, like, quick, they walk, hit some cover, so. Yeah, Michael Jackson impression usually work when you're stopping them. <laughs> oh, woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just think they're starstruck. <laughs> You say it's weird how close they get, and they kind yeah. of like just poke out of any, nowhere. And I keep looking, I know they're really little, but I keep looking higher up because I'm yeah, expecting yeah. them to be bigger. I don't know why yeah. either. Yeah. Has it um, showed you that there's a much different skill set you need to develop for this type of stalking? Yeah, I feel like you need to be much quieter. Um, yeah, Doyle, if you were quiet, <laughs> we, we would have been all right today. <laughs> <laughs> I second that opinion. <laughs> old big old old uh, trench foot over here. But you definitely need to be loads quieter than you would, like on the hill. Yeah. Which is. Yeah, yeah it's up close and personal, isn't it? That's yeah. the difference. It's like you know you're very very close to stuff. There's no um, there's no plan. No. Like, like you know like we said earlier on, if you, there's one if you go like all right, there's one over there, so we're just gonna whip around there which takes about a week anyway yeah, yeah. and all the rest of it is like if it's just you're looking out the whole time aren't yeah, you yeah trickier shooting as well yeah and they're so quick yeah. aren't they they're really really moving. like yeah. nippy it's no stress as we're here for the chinese water deer anyway and as it happens paul knows just where to find them as it's close to the rut, this hopeful male is already displaying to the females in the herd to show he is better than the other bucks. Carly is going to try to give him a helping hand and take out a smaller, younger male from the sidelines. How confident are you off the sticks? If up to 100 yards, you'd be okay when you're off the sticks, you can shoot him off the sticks. Yeah. If we go down the, the hedge here, we we'll to cut through and see if we can stalk out to the M1 on this end, that would be a perfect one to take. And he should stand up and look at us. Um, and then we'll have plenty of time to get on the sticks. Give that one a go. If not, we'll come away and we'll go around the other side and we'll bye bye. Yeah. That's the plan, right. No rush, right? Yeah. If he runs off, who cares? Happy with that? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Right, relax, okay? No rush. Relax. Okay. Okay. Do the thing? Yep, go through that. That's what I saw loaded. Okay. So, happy? 
more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, remember to squeeze it off gently, okay? Okay, take it off safe. Okay, that's it, yeah. No, relax. Just take your time. Take your time now, okay? Take your time. Sharp, it's alright, good. Reload. Safety on. Dead. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think that was it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm fine. Yeah. No, no, at all. <laughs> perfect way, shot. I was waiting for you to go, perfect. do it again. No, 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 perfect <laughs> shot. It's great. No, perfect. Well done. Excellent. Oh, it's really weird. I feel really emotional. Yeah, yeah it's really funny because it's like absolutely bang on the money. I see the bullet strike, I see it go to the other side. 100%. Roy ran so much because he was, he was alert, he was charged up, adrenaline was in it, mm -hmm. and uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> One Chinese to take to the deer larder. If this were a Chinese restaurant, someone would be shouting, service. Just look back over your shoulder. Look, suggestively. <laughs> Is it heavy? It's not too heavy, no. Lighter than a red stag? Yes. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Old store. Is that nice and comfy? Yeah. Do you want to carry the camera as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go stalking with Paul, email paul at childerlysporting.co.uk.